um, my name is Adele Bricking and I'm a PhD student at Cardiff University and um, I'm here studying Iron Age mortuary practices in southwest Britain. Um, that includes the counties of uh, Cornwall, Devon, Dorset, Somerset, Wiltshire, Gloucestershire, um, and then South Wales. So I am here doing destructive analysis for histological light microscopy of bone diagenesis, which sounds really complicated, but it's, um, it's sort of an innovative method of looking at funerary treatments in a closer way. So um, what I do here is find a long bone fragment um, or isolated long bone and cut a little piece out of it, just a tiny piece, and then take it back to Cardiff where I can make smaller samples out of it and um, look at the degree of bacterial bioerosion, which means the uh, preservation of the osteons within the bone. Um, yep, so the process is identify which ones are suitable. So we want adult long bones, preferably. Um, I'm trying to use all of the femurs that I can, so that it's nice and consistent. And um, then I put it into an Excel spreadsheet with all of the data that we need to identify it. And then I'll get my saw out and cut it up and um, yeah, take it back and, and analyze it to see what we get. Um, I'm hoping to find out more about the nature of uh, hole inhumations in pits and ditches and graves and fragmented material in pits and ditches and graves. Basically what we have is a whole bunch of different states of articulation and a whole bunch of different features. So I would like to see if there are any patterns with, uh, with those and the um, histology.